All right, let's cut the crap. Let's just fucking roll. Okay, look, Rise of the Rome is free on Xbox Live Gold, right? If you own Xbox Live Gold already, or, or game sharing gold, or some nefarious shit, you can get Rise of the Rome for fucking free. So why the fuck are you watching this video? You should be downloading that shit right fucking now. Not only that, but the friggin' DLC is on offer for five fucking quid. So you can get the entire game, over 2,000 gamer score, all the content, all the fucking multiplayer levels, for five quid. Are you still watching this video? Seriously, what are you doing? Go and download it right now. Oh, God. So what sparked this off was, I was talking to Jam2D yesterday, and he was just fucking completely fucking blanking me over eyes. I'm like, you need to download this game. It's free. You need to get it. It's an amazing game. Get it. Download it. If you're not sure if you're going to play it, play it on another account and see if you fucking enjoy it so it doesn't go onto your card, blah, blah, blah. And he's like just hesitating to get it. I'm like, it's free. You already paid for gold. Why the fuck wouldn't you try the game? I'm telling you, it's one of the best game. Fuck that. It's the best game on the Xbox fucking one. Okay, that's the fact. Okay, the Xbox one has been lackluster. Granted, and nothing has achieved anything the heights that was on the 360 but this is one of the best games if not the this is the best game on the xbox one it is it just blows my mind that you won't even play a game for fucking free that's literally one of the only exclusives on the system and happens to be one of the best games on the system Okay, and I see this in my comments section all the time. Oh, you like Rise? Oh, you're an idiot. It's like, no, you're a fucking idiot, okay? You know nothing, people, okay? You've not looked into the game. You've not played the game. You've not fucking experienced anything to do with the game. You haven't looked it up on Twitch. You know nothing, okay? The frigging graphics are amazing, Okay, this is like a huge fucking, it's hugely impressive, okay, for the Xbox One. Some of the best fucking graphics, aesthetics, whatever, on the Xbox One still. That there alone is a reason to play it, especially when it's fucking free. Now, not everybody's going to be into the frigging gameplay as it is, granted, and it doesn't look particularly fun if you're watching a video of it. But trust me, it's a lot of fun to fucking play. And because of the story elements in the game, the music and the co-op horde mode and all the fucking different game modes and such, it's a lot of fun to fucking play. Okay? And why would you not support this franchise knowing full well that Microsoft has literally dick for exclusives? By supporting this game, they're going to make more of them. It's simple, okay? And this game's like an 8 out of 10. This isn't a bad game, okay, by any means. I enjoyed the combat. I enjoyed the music. I enjoyed the story to an extent. The ending's a bit dodgy. But I love the characters, like the the English king, his daughter, Marius, the main character, the sergeant who fucking t takes him under his wing, his family. All these brilliant characters, the... The, the, the fucking emperor who's an arsehole, the emperor's brother. It's all fucking, so much character build, so much good voice acting. Just, it's such a great game. Why would you not play that for fucking free? It may, I, I literally blew up yesterday because I can't understand the mentality of somebody who says, well, uh, the game had poor fucking user score reviews and that's why I don't want to play it. Okay, number one, it's fucking free. It doesn't matter if it got fucking twos. It's free. Okay, you can try it for yourself. It's basically a demo at this point. It's free. You, you don't need to fucking listen to what anyone else has said about it. Okay, you can try it yourself for free. Okay, if I'm telling you it's a good game, trust me, it's going to be a good game. Okay, whether it's your personal taste, that's another matter. But I can tell you now, it won't be a broken pile of fucking shit unless I say that in the fucking review. So, 
What I'm saying is, if anybody is watching this and still has not played Rise Sun of Rome, what the fuck are you doing watching this video? Go and download it now. What? What? Why does a user score affect your decision to buy a freaking game? Like the people reviewing the game could be fucking Sony drones, or fucking Nintendo fanboys, or PC gamers that are bashing the game. Why? You know those scores can come from anywhere. And if your reviews are poor, it's probably because Microsoft didn't pay anybody to do any fucking reviews because it's a new fucking IP and they haven't got all their fucking eggs in it. You can bet your life when Halo 6 comes out, it's going to be 10 out of 10 here, 9 out of 10 there, blah de blah de blah On some sites, like fucking IGN, because Microsoft will pay for that. They aren't going to pay for fucking fake reviews for fucking Rise. Seriously, people, if that's all you care about is review scores, you've fucking lost all sight of everything. Great games are great because they are great, not because they have great review scores. That, that doesn't fucking make any sense. Play Rise, Son of Rome. The mentality of these people. It literally makes no sense to not play a game that you're getting for fucking free with your Xbox Live Gold subscription... And the DLC is only a fucking fiver on offer from fucking 15 quid or whatever. That completes the fucking game and gives you all the rest of the content. Now granted, that content's already on the fucking disc, number one. And granted, there's some slight microtransactions in the multiplayer mode. And when I say slight, I mean slight. Basically, you buy weapons and armor, which literally just makes your character have more health and shit to fight hordes of enemies. It's not even competitive. You just fight hordes of enemies. That's it. So, there's no fucking imbalance or whatever. You just literally keep upgrading your army. And it's not even that hard to unlock the stuff. Okay, so that's what knocks the fucking review score down. If this didn't have fucking disc lock content and friggin' microtransactions, then it'd be a 9. But as it stands, it's an 8. But an 8 out of 10 is a fucking brilliant score. For a fucking new IP, exclusive to the Xbox, well, it was exclusive until it went to the friggin' PC, but it, it's a fucking great fucking game, and it just blows my mind that I get so much fucking hate, ignorant fucking hate, on my videos and from my fucking peers over a fucking game that's probably one of the best on the friggin' system. It just blows my fucking mind. What would you want me to say? Do you want me to say the game's bad just to fit in with everybody else? Because it's not a bad fucking game, you idiots. It's nowhere near a bad game. What makes you think it's a bad game? Or oh, got some bad user reviews, guys. Yes, from who? How do you know who those people are and how are they credible? How are they any more credible than me? If I make a user review score and put the user review score up high to fucking 10, then that's going to fucking make it go higher. If everybody watching this video right now goes and makes a fucking fake account on fucking Metacritic, they can boost any fucking game up they want. What? Do, it doesn't matter. It literally does not matter. A user score means dick, okay? And a review score means dick as well. On anything. So don't come throw me for, with fucking review scores, okay? That means nothing. If Halo's 5 can get 10 out of 10s from IGN and all that bullshit, that's because the, the review has been friggin' paid for. So reviews literally mean nothing. They mean nothing. So forget the reviews. Rise is a good game. Go and fucking play it. It's fucking free with Xbox Live Gold. You could literally buy a month of gold, use the gold to play Rise online, and buy the fucking deal for the five pound. You've got you've got a game that's got two thousand gamer score, a shitload of fucking multiplayer, a shitload of fucking single player. It's like basically like Gladiator, but the Xbox One version where you go around fucking killing barbarians and shit. Fucking amazing game. Like, why would you deny yourself a classic like Rise Son of Rome over some fucking idiots retarded fucking user scores on fucking metacritic or some other fucking review site oh the game's not critically acclaimed so what fucking zelda breath of the wilds getting tens everywhere and i think that game looks boring as fuck okay your opinion matters okay
Go and check this game out. Now. Don't leave it to chance. Don't miss out on the one of the best exclusives on the Xbox One over some user scores and review scores that mean absolutely nothing. Check the game out. You're denying yourself a classic. An actual classic here. Highly underrated game. And not only that, I was hoping this was going to be a fucking franchise. I was hoping for either you could have a Rise of the Rome 2. You could have uh, a fucking one. Next one could be about fucking Greece. You know, it could be like Hercules or something. And you've got to fight the fucking Minotaur and shit like this. Or you could do like, you know, it'd be like Rise Son of Greece. But then you could do like Spartans. And it'd be like 300. It'd be like Rise Son of Sparta. And you have to fight the fucking Persians and shit. I mean, that. There's no end. You could do anything with this. You know, you could do fucking Knights of the Round Table, um, Samurais, you know, like, this is what I'm saying, like, For Honor and whatever. You could just rise. If they did Rise did it, it'd be better because the combat would be smoother. It wouldn't be about peer-to-peer -peer fighting gay online battlefield battles. There would be a proper story and a fucking horde mode. And the graphics would be way fucking better. The story would be way fucking better. And everything would just be way fucking better. So for fuck's sake, if you haven't played Rise Son of Rome, you've got till the fucking 16th or whatever. I don't know if it'll roll over because some of these games roll over. So you might be lucky if you miss this. But seriously, you cannot miss this fucking game. You all need to stop with this hive mind mentality. Just because everybody says something is good, that doesn't make it good. And just because everybody says something is shit, that doesn't make it shit. Okay? Call of Duty and Battlefield, prime example. They're both shit. I'm telling you right now. Okay? But Infinite Warfare is better than Battlefield 1. It is. Okay? Just because everybody says one's better than the other, that doesn't make it the truth. Okay, it's just a bandwagon, okay? Neither one of these games is anything compared to, like, fucking Halo or Perfect Dark or whatever. It's They're not even close to those games. So comparing the two of them is like comparing two piles of shit, okay? One smells slightly more rotten than the other one. In my opinion, Battlefield is the worst fucking game. But they're both shit. That's the point, okay? Stop fucking buying into hype, buying into bullshit. Go and play Rise Son of Rome. Seriously. I cannot stress this enough. Feel free to subscribe. See you later.